I feel my body waking. It must be Halloween. I smell flesh. Halloween is probably one of the most scariest nights of the year. Halloween, people scream and shout and terrible things happen and people stand back and laugh. It was over one year ago when a certain somebody who thought they were absolutely in the perfect life possible, their whole life came to a finding stop. It was absolutely terrifying. This one night, this person's dreams came crashing down. Their realities and futures shattered. Nothing more or less than just utter terror. You thought I was going to be telling a story, didn't you? Halloween. What fun. I have to admit, Halloween is absolutely one of my favourite times of the year. The decorations, the sort of the finger buffet foods which people get invited to, a Halloween party, the music, the getting all dressed up, face paints, crazy crazy humour, and everybody seems to come to life. Pumpkins, large and small. Halloween happens to be a time where you can just go absolutely crazy and absolutely frantic and it can be just normal. Of course, safe humour absolutely the best thing possible. I love nothing more than doing all of this, dressing up, decoration, having a laugh, having a joke, getting into a kind of frame of mood which is so light but yet eerie and almost scaring yourself half to death. One of my favourite films, Halloween. We've all probably seen it. I love nothing better on a Halloween night than turning all the lights off and watching a horror film with a few drinks of your favourite alcohol beverage. Halloween for me is all about scares and getting frightened. And let's put it this way, to be honest, how stressful people people's lives are, it's just nice to be able to switch off. But Halloween, you can kind of go into somebody completely different, go take up a character which is completely different. And literally, most Halloweens, I get dressed up, we have a laugh, we have a joke, here in our family home, I've been to Halloween parties before, but there's nothing quite like how everybody, our own personal self, does Halloween. I love nothing better than tricking somebody or scaring somebody, and being one of a twin, I can assure you I've done a lot of that. My five top things of which I absolutely love at Halloween. Number one, getting all dressed up and really, really going to town for it. Absolutely love it. Number two. I absolutely love spending time carving an absolutely crazy pumpkin. This year I got a traditional orange pumpkin and a traditional white spooky one. I say traditional, it's not. Far from it. I'm going to be uploading some pictures on this clip as well. Halloween though, for me, really almost gets me going. It really gets that urge really out there and I really absolutely love it. I love watching something which half scares you to death. I think Halloween is just absolutely amazing. <gasps> you never know when somebody is just around the corner to jump at you or scare. Halloween can be a time where things come true which you don't think is ever going to happen. Halloween can be a time when the unthinkable happens. And I always think early hours of the morning are absolutely the best time for a trick or a treat. In fact, actually, I might well be working on something. Halloween, or as they call Hallow's Eve. Hmm, trick or treat. I have to admit I love nothing better than researching Halloween around this time of year as well. You always come up with some really, really sort of scary insight into Halloween, or even just watching Halloween films, whether it be with somebody else or on their own. But believe you me, if I'm there watching it with somebody else, 
I'm one of the first ones to jump in and trick somebody or frighten somebody. That might seem mean, but believe you me, when you're as nice as I am for the whole of the year, Halloween is my one time off. And believe you me, I really love to scare somebody. And let's put it this way, the scarier the better. As I say, I love nothing more better than getting all dressed up in a Halloween costume. The scarier the better. And believe you me, I've really, really done something quite special this year, and I think you'll agree. Halloween for me, going back to what we were doing. My five top things. The first one, getting all dressed up. The louder, the better. The scarier, the better. My second one, carving the most amazing pumpkin. Thirdly, the way all the Halloween films come back out, whether they're old, whether they're new, they all come back out and they're absolutely the perfect thing for this time of year. Fourth, a little bit more on the softer side of things, pumpkin pie. I always make pumpkin pie around this time of the year and I'll certainly be doing it for this Halloween. Again, there's something about it. Pumpkin spice, lovely crispy pastry, a lovely full fat bodiness in that pumpkin pie served with cream. Frightfully, get what I've just done there, <laughs> but really, really nice. Lastly, my fifth favourite thing is, is when people come together what they don't usually do something. So for example, you can go weeks without seeing somebody, but then Halloween, you see that different type of person. And that's my fifth favourite thing. You see a different side of somebody. And like, for example, what I've just said, I'm nice all year round and I'll do anybody a favour. But Halloween's my time, and I love nothing more than dressing up in a really scary costume and going absolutely crazy, dancing around, singing, having really, really sort of um, those sort of times where you can just really switch off and literally let your hair down. Um, yeah, having a few drinks, watching some nice Halloween films, and scaring yourself half to death. And yes, absolutely, you will be, I do, waking up early hours of the morning, shortly after Halloween with those films. But Halloween isn't for the weak, and it's certainly not for the faint-hearted. Let's put it this way, the scarier the better. And actually, why stop there? Halloween. <gasps> you never know who's around the corner. <laughs>